to my channel. I don't know what my brain is doing. I don't know what my emotions are doing. I just don't know right now. Before I get into this video, first I want to address something. Yesterday I uploaded a video called my last video where I talked about my video about me and Vanessa no longer being friends. And then I decided to private it because that's not the way that I want to start the year. That's not the way. I, I don't need to make a whole video justifying what people were saying in the comments. Basically, if you did not see that video, I just broke down a couple things that people were saying like I do things for views and clickbait and I act like her and I just really broke it down and gave the facts of what it is but at the end of the day I realized that I chose to delete that video I chose to private it because I'm like I'm not doing this I'm not going back and forth with people that are being left in 2017 but for this video I was going to do 2017 trends that need to die in 2018 and then I opened up my laptop and I am so freaking disturbed and flabbergasted and this is the biggest trend of 17 that needs to die and that is Logan Paul I'm shook bitch I am shook I'm gonna give you guys the 411 the tea really quick I got the re-uploaded video for you guys I'm gonna tell you my thoughts and opinions because this is ridiculous and I need to catch my bougie gang up. Logan Paul has been a treacherous disaster of the internet for the last year. The amount of negative influence that he has, it's like, and the amount of shit that he gets away with pisses me off. And it drives me crazy because there are so many people online that are such amazing influencers and actually, and I think what it means to be an influencer is like an influencer, bitch. Not just about the followers, but influencing people in a positive light, like in a good way, making you laugh. You know what I mean? And being inspiring. And he time after and time again influences these kids with so many negatives, racial things, insensitive things, and then makes light of it and makes it seem like it's okay. And he just seems to be hail down to bow down bitches all the time, time after time and time after time after time again, that he's proven to us that he's not a good person. This man has me absolutely shook. Let me catch you guys, wait, wait, wait. If you're not subscribed to my channel, my name is James Bella. What's up? Hey, make sure you join the bougie gang because we have fun here. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. All of those things will be on the screen and in the description box down below. Okay, bougie gang, let me catch you guys up to what's happening. So basically, Logan Paul uploaded a video the other day where he went to a, he's in Japan right now, like vlogging, and he went to a Japanese suicide forest. And this forest is historic for people to go there and kill themselves. Almost over a hundred people a year ago there there's been movies made about the forest and everything but when he got to the forest i just watched the vlog bitch let me, let me insert some clips for you guys actually i'm not gonna insert clips no i'm gonna insert clips here we go because I, I was like i'm not gonna insert clips because if his management tries to come for me and copyright me but bitch i don't care it's really isolated and instead of going out or partying um kind of like sort of finding myself so we're talking on your camera i figured this was the perfect time to do it because if you look to my right low gang i give you the alki gahara the fact that he said, oh, I don't feel like going out and partying. I feel like finding myself. And since we're in Japan, I thought it would be fun to go to a suicide forest. How are you going to find yourself at the suicide forest? And two, why are you making it a joke? Here's the Okio Nokitoki suicide forest. Like, it's not funny. Like, that's so insensitive and so sad. For someone to even come to a place that they feel like they have to take themselves off this earth is sad and so so insensitive of you to make light of that situation. What are you doing, boy? But time after time and again, these little kids still support him and like still buy tickets to his shit and still like watch all his videos when he is so rude and insensitive, racist, and considerate. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and watch the whole entire video, but basically, so then later on in the video, he's like hiking through the forest with camping gear and it's like, oh my god, we're four Americans going camping in a Japanese suicide forest. Laughing and joking about it. As, this is, as if this is a joke. Anybody watching this video right now that has ever had any suicidal thoughts or like ever had anything like that, just know that it gets better and this is not a joke and I'm sad and I'm sorry that you have to see such a big influencer online like this mimic it and make a joke out of it and laugh at it because that is so inappropriate and that is not the influence that you want to give to several kids who may be watching your videos because they are in a dark spot and when they turn on their laptop and see James Butler or Jake Paul or whoever they're watching, it gives them light. I get messages and I know he's an influencer and we get messages all the time. I know influencers do saying, oh my gosh, like 
you really bring me out of the dark, your videos make me laugh, your videos make me smile. And I'm sure he gets those too. So the fact that some kids who are in a dark spot have to open up their laptop and watch him mimic and make a joke out of suicide for a vlog, for money, goes to show you what he cares about. He does not care about his fans. He does not think about his fans. He cares about money, 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 money. And that's the sad thing with a lot of YouTubers on the internet. They get so lost and caught up in the money that they forget that they have influence and people following them and watching them. Ooh, bitch, calm down, calm down. Cause I really am so mad at this point that I feel like if I see him, I just wanna beat his ass. I wanna beat his ass. Jake Paul, if, you, if you're watching this, next time I see you, you are catching these hands. I feel like I have so many followers who come to me, and even me, I've been in super dark places. I just had, I, went, I was on Snapchat the other day while I was in Europe talking about one of my really close, close, close family members. I'm not gonna say who, but attempted suicide. So I feel so offended at the same time that this is a making light of something like this. I'm just actually shook, bitch. I'm shook. Oh. I think he should be unsigned from his management. I think his YouTube should be deleted. Deleted. I don't care. Like, your shit should be deleted. This is too much. Not just taken down, but deleted. Show that this boy gets away with all this shit. And I say, I get shady once, bitch. I say one little bit of tea and it's like, Brrr. But time after time again, Jake Paul, Logan, whatever the fuck his name is, is fine and dandy. So the video was taken down because not only did he go into the forest, make fun of the culture, make light of suicide, also filmed a dead body of someone who just committed suicide in the forest for a vlog. Bitch, I need to grab my crystal. He's messing up my energy. The insensitivity and the greed for money and wealth and views for you to film someone who is in a super dark, dark place in their brain to the point that they feel like they no longer deserve to live, that they no longer belonged in this world. For you to put a camera on that and post it online for millions of people to see without a thought or a care in the world about their family, how their family would feel if their family's watching, how the people watching would feel is so selfish and greedy that it makes me nauseous, nauseous. Jake Paul needs to be stopped, bitch. Is it Jake? Is it Jake? Which one is which, bitch? Logan Paul needs to be stopped. That is the biggest trend of 2017 that needs to be stopped. That needs to die. I'm not saying actually die, like be dead, but the career, everything, YouTube, deleted, cross out, die. Because I think that having followers and having a influence to this level is a privilege and you should not take advantage of your privilege that far and once it becomes greedy and wealth like you sh it should be taken away from you because you have such a big presence online that you are making it okay and making it seem okay for people to do this and make fun of suicide and other people's cultures and things like that for a vlog i made a video talking about why i'm no longer friends with somebody who i was publicly best friends with and i do shit for views bitch Logan is actually like embarrassing to the YouTube community in my opinion. This this literally probably just happened. Um you guys should call the police? I'm so sorry about this Logan. This was supposed to be fun vlog. 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 How is going to a suicide forest and making fun of it going to be a fun vlog? How is that fun at all? Where do you See the F U N in that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't watch any more of this video. Next time I see you, bitch, you better have security because you might catch these hands. Boy, you are a mess. It was all, it was gonna be a joke. Yeah. This was all gonna be a joke. There is the joke in suicide. I'll wait. I'll wait for someone to be able to defend Logan Paul when he says this was gonna be a joke. I'm done. I have to close my laptop, bitch. So there you guys go. That is my thoughts and opinions on this Logan Paul suicide forest vlog. I am shook and embarrassed by those actions from another YouTuber, especially being a YouTuber. Anybody out there watching, and if you're going through something, if you're in a dark spot, I've been there. Know that I've been there. I can't say I know what you're going through, but I've been there. So I've been in a dark place before, and I want to promise you, I pinky promise you, I swear that it gets 
better. There is a light at the end of that tunnel. There is still a light inside of you. So let it completely shine through. Let it completely shine bright. And just know that any obstacle that you're going through right now, any doubt, any insecurity that is plaguing your brain, you are so much more powerful. You are so much more stronger. You are so much more bigger and better than a anxiety or fear or depression or suicide. Your love, your love to the world you may be one person but to the one person you may be the world and that is so true the thought of you not being here to sit and watch this video gives me goosebumps i have goosebumps it's sad it's so sad that people get that dark in their lives and that sad in their lives and let those nasty negative thoughts beat them and I just want you to know that you can beat the shit out of it. I've been there and it is possible. You were here for a reason. Each and every one of us has a greater purpose. Some may look, just look bigger than others, but I'm telling you, you have a purpose. You are supposed to be here and you have a greater destiny waiting for you that is so amazing. So don't stop now, do not give up. If you've gotten this far, girl, boy, anybody watching you have so much more left inside of you so keep fighting y'all know that my instagram dms are always open i am james with four s's if you just want somebody to talk to i'm genuinely there i am so sorry i am apologizing for logan paul that anybody who's anybody in general had to watch that and sit through that because that is so disgusting and so inappropriate i love you guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all those things. Bitch, I still got my crystal in my hand because his, he really messed up my energy. <sighs> I need to go sage. Love you guys.